our next sections we talk about dilations um 2.5 specifically about them so first thing we want to do is we want to define what a dilation is so a dilation is a transformation where a figure is made larger or smaller with respect to a point called the center of dilation. Okay. A dilation is a transformation where a figure is made larger or smaller with respect to a point called the center of dilation. Um, this year, you're going to be concentrating where your center of dilation is the origin. Um, I'm not going to make you do anything more difficult than that this year. Okay. If I have an initial point, so first thing we want to do is we have our initial points at some numbers x, comma y. Our dilation. is going to end up at the point kx comma ky where k is equal to the scale factor okay you guys used scale factors last year um and our scale factor is new divided by old, okay? Um, these k's have to both be the same. k is the same for dilation. So it has to blow it up in the x direction and the y direction the same amount. And that will get you a dilation centered at the origin. When K is bigger than one, we call it an enlargement. And when K is smaller than one, we call it a reduction. Um, K is always greater than zero. So I'm going to put a zero there. K's are always positive. We never have negative scale factors for what we are doing. And here's what's something that's kind of neat that you're not going to see with some of the practice that you're doing here, but you'll see it next year, is if I have two figures where one's a dilation of another, um, I'm going to try to make if you take the corresponding pieces um again i don't have this on graph paper so it's going to be close if you take the corresponding parts and you go through the corners of all the corresponding parts i was a little off there They should all end up at the same point. And I'm kind of fudging it a little bit. This will help us out with our next lesson, too. Okay, this distance from here to here is proportional on every one of these pieces. 
So if this was a scale factor of like two and a half, if this was one, this would be two and a half. If this was one, this would be two and a half. If this was one, this would be two and a half. And you're gonna see that when we look at the IXL, okay? Um, you're going to need to, in order to do things, is you need to be able to read the coordinates off of points on a graph. Every single problem that you're going to do on the IXL, the easiest way to do things is write the original coordinates down to do something with. Okay? I'm going to go back to my original notes. So the things you're going to have to do for practice are to graph images, which are they give you a thing and they tell you what the scale factor is, and then you um graph the new part you have to find coordinates of different items and you're going to have to find scale factors and again the scale factor is the new number divided by the old number okay so we're going to go ahead and get into the ixl um and if we need to write anything down, I'll bring up my writing. So first one we're going to do is dilations graph the image. Um, I'm going to have to zoom um, in a little bit. It says graph the image of RSTU after a dilation with a scale factor of one third. So I'm going to put this over here so I can have a little bit of writing. So what we need to do is we need to find, we're going to take our x comma y's, and we're going to multiply each of them by one third and give us our new points. So um, R, S, T, U. So let's write down our original coordinates, R, S, T, U. R is at negative 6, negative 3. S is at 9, negative 3. T is at 9, 6. U is at negative 6, 6. So I'm going to multiply each of these by 1 third, which is the same thing as dividing by 3. You can use a calculator if you need to for this. So I'm going to find R prime, S prime, E prime and u prime. Okay. Um, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Negative 3 divided by 3, negative 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. I don't want you just looking at the picture and trying to come up with it. Because on a test, if it was a written test, you would actually have to write down how you got the coordinates. The first one is going to be negative 2, negative 1. Negative 2, negative 1. Then 3, negative 1. Then 3, 2. Then negative 2, 2. And there we go. Click Submit. Okay. Um, I have the ability to jump levels. So I've shown you how to do the super easy one on this first assignment. I'm going to go to level 2 of 2, which have different shapes. Okay, this one has a scale factor of three, which means <clears throat> I'm going to multiply everything by three, and they want me to do A, B, C, D. In IXL, when you're clicking on these things, they're going to want you to um, click the new dots in the same order. So let me write down my original coordinates, and then we're going to multiply everything by three to get my A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So 
first coordinates, negative 3, negative 3. B, negative 3, 1. Actually, uh, 1, negative 3. I messed that one up. C is at 2, 1. D is at negative 3, 1. Now I'm going to take each of these numbers and multiply them by 3. So my A prime is negative 9, negative 9. My B is 3, negative 9. C is 6, 3. D is negative 9, 3. I'm going to plot those points in order. Negative 9, negative 9. 3, negative 9. 6, 3. Negative 9, 3. Here's something I want you to look at on the drawing itself. The angle, this angle C and this angle here, they're congruent. They're going to be the same angle. This B angle right here is the exact same as this one. This A angle is the exact same as this one. And that D angle is the exact same as that one. When you have a dilation, you're going to have the exact same measurements of angles there. Okay? I'm going to click Submit. And look at that. Here I'm just going to divide everything by 2. Um, but that should be enough for that one. Let me go back. Show you all three of them for this one. Now we're going to do dilations, find the coordinates. Here it says write the coordinates of the vertices after dilation with a scale factor of one half centered at the origin. I'm going to do the work exactly the same way, but this time I don't have to graph it. Okay? And that's probably because they're going to end up with maybe some fractions on some of these, probably some of the harder ones. So first thing I want to do is I want to write down S, T, U, and V. I want to write down what their original coordinates are. S is at negative 8, negative 10. T is at negative 8, 2. U is at 4, 2. V is at 4, negative 10. And back up here, it says a scale factor of 1 half. That means I'm going to multiply everything by 1 half, which is the same thing as dividing by 2. So I get negative 4, negative 5, negative 4, 1, uh, 2, 1, and 2, negative 5. Negative there. Now I'm just going to type those in. Put my keyboard over here. So I have... I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm just going to type in what I wrote down. Negative 4, negative 5, negative 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 5. Click Submit. Notice down here, um, if you get stuck on anything, you can go back and work on any of They give you review stuff. Um, they give you videos, or may, sometimes they'll give you worked out solutions. So let me go to a harder one. Level two out of two. It doesn't look much harder. Um, C, D, E, F. I'm going to write my letters down in order. And it says it wants a scale factor of one fourth, which means I'm going to divide by four. So let me write down my points. C is at negative eight, negative four. D is at zero, negative eight. E is at, neg at zero, negative four. Uh-uh. 
I goof that up. Let me fix those. If I realize I messed up, my X's are actually moving, not my Y's. Let's go C is at negative 8, negative 4. D is at negative 8, 0. E is at negative 4, 0. F is at negative 4, negative 4. My scale factor is 1 quarter, which means I'm going to divide by 4. My negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. And I get negative 2, 0. Negative 1, 0. Negative 1, negative 1. Again, if you need to use a calculator, please do so, but you should be comfortable um, with simple division and multiplication. So I'm now going to type in those numbers, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 0, and negative 1, negative 1. I'm going to click Submit. And that's how you do the harder problems out of that group. There's only two levels. The third IXL assignment for this one, it says find the scale factor. Okay. So again, my scale factor is new divided by old. My K is equal to new over old. Okay. So let's go ahead and work through those. Doesn't matter which point I pick, I usually choose quadrant one numbers. Okay? Um, stuff in the upper right, that way they're all positive because you never want to have a negative scale factor. And the thing we're doing is my new one is the one with the little tick mark, what I've been calling prime. So I would do like A prime over A. Here I'm going to do K prime over K. So in this case, I'm going to do K prime over k, which is going to be, and I don't have to do both, x and y's, I just have to do one of them, and I'm going to do the x's. I'm going to do, this x is 4, this x is 8. So my new is 4, my old is 8. So 4 divided by 8 is 1 half. Okay? They want proper fractions, improper fractions, or whole numbers. Okay, so we need to simplify them. And let's do the, the quick check. K, I have it smaller than one, so that means it was a reduction. Yep, it reduced, so my answer is going to be one half. I'm going to do another one here before I jump levels. I'm going to do D and D prime. My new is X is 2. My new is 2. My old is 8. Again, if you use the calculator, use the fraction button on the calculator, your calculator will give you the one-fourth that you're supposed to type in. Okay? The 2 over 8 is one-fourth. I'm going to jump a level. Um, let's pick M. I don't... Um, I, wanna, I don't like picking stuff on axes. I like to pick one where I can actually see it. So in this case, my new is M prime. M prime is 6. My M for my X coordinate is 2. 6 over 2 is 3. Oops, I typed 4. I need to type a 3. Click Submit. So those are the... Uh, Three types of problems you need to do for this dilations IXL. Um, again, they're not difficult. My recommendation is you write out all the coordinates like I did before you actually go to type this stuff in. That way um, you have a better chance of not messing up typing in the wrong number.